Hi, last time I tried to go for a New Year's Eve kiss, I got Oprah'd. Barbara wants to hug Oprah. Stiff arm. No hugging Oprah. Barbara really wants to hug Oprah. She tries to get a hug. Oprah's not having it. I have to give you a hug. Leo, and welcome to In Bed with Theo. I'm also still trying to get that sweet, sweet cash. Another cool way to support me is to let me advertise your products here. For a simple payment of 5,000 US dollars, you can put your advertising banner here. This amazing banner will get roughly 200 viewers a week to see your product. Amazing. Feel free to send 5,000 US dollars to my Venmo here. Thank you. So when I made my original schedule, I was going to do Together With Me next chapter, but I didn't remember that New Year's Eve was happening. So I'm going to do a special New Year's Eve episode where I talk about all the BLs that I watched in 2020 and give like lightning round answers about how I feel about them. So come on, let's go. This one follows a sad life of third, the forever third wheel, just like me. One time on my birthday, I was the ninth wheel. That was so much fun. I even went on to make YouTube videos about gay love stories. I'm pretty sure this series just hates gay people. You're perfect. You're beautiful. You look like Linda and Devilista. Everything about you is perfect. Did you stone those tights? The perfect amount of depression and bonus points for a great setting. A beautifully drawn and yet confusing story about a pass around party bottom mafia boss. Kurosawa! This is the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia version of BL. All the actors are really good, but all the characters are terrible people. This show is super cute, and even though it's like very small, I really enjoyed it. Bonus points, the main character does not sexually assault his love interest. Yay! Uh... This is probably the best BL of 2020. Everything from the COVID-19 social distancing setting to the actors and characters were awesome. Like, I even care for the straight couple, which is super cool. And this was even so good that I didn't watch the last episode because I didn't want the series to end. So I was delaying it so it wouldn't be over. But there's a movie coming soon, so yeah! Gay Tenchi Muyo. Gay Tenchi Muyo the movie with spies. Gay Tenchi Muyo 2, now with more babes. Uh... This show is really original and super awesome. I really enjoyed it but get ready for a lot of close-up shots of sad crying faces. It's like that. I didn't mind the ending of this one that everyone really hated. What I did mind was the creepy age gap between the side characters and Xiang Hao Ting's haircut at the end of the show. Uh... I've been on many dates with masseurs in my past and it's never been as fun as this video game, but it is as beautiful as the artist is handsome, so go buy it. I still can't get over the Superman costume that goes on with this. like. It's a new person! Amazing! But it's really cute, even though the actor change was kind of confusing in the beginning. I will never stop shouting about this book. It's amazing. If you haven't read it, go read it. If you don't have time to read it, go get it on Audible, because the narrator who reads it to you is also really good, too. Do it. You may not have been gay before watching this video, but after, you definitely were. You don't have to love me. I didn't finish the series. The actors and everything were cute enough, but faking a suicide for more attention is never cute. I'll finish this eventually. The story was good enough, but it seems like a lot of effort for a really good friendship. 
It's pretty though. I haven't finished this yet, but I want to. The Philippines are making great meals this year and probably in the future too. It's not a gay movie, but like, it's a gay movie. It's a classic boy meets boy at an orgy story. The ending on the rooftop with the milk tea bottles was a little confusing and flew over my head. Each true Hollywood story about personal trainers and any hot guy on the internet markets and profits off gay men. Sexy, kinkier, and all around better than the entire 50 Sage series, and all under 20 minutes. A Japanese BL where two beta fish watch attractive Japanese men cry and bang. Maxwell Tool is really depressing, but it's still really good. The parkour character gives me a lot of life. I'm pretty sure this was 2019 when I watched it, but it's really good. Like, it's really good. It's a short film, and this is how you make something sexy. I didn't finish this one yet either. I started this YouTube series and I was gonna actually do reaction videos of this entire season, but GMTV kept blocking me and sent me an email of cease and desist, so I actually stopped watching this series after. But I'll get into it because I enjoy how mildly offensive this series is. But the actors are all cute, so score? Uh... Adachi's pretty cute too. So there are still so many I did not even watch in 2020. Apparently, like, so many came out. I don't understand, like, how all these countries are just popping out gay stuff left and right, but it's kind of, like, becoming a new golden age of BL and gay media, so that's really awesome. Which were your favorite BLs of 2020? Tell me in the comments below, and if any of these ones you want me to talk more about in a longer video, definitely let me know in the comments, too. The things that I'm really, really excited about is Color Rush. It came out at the end of 2020, and I've seen the two episodes that have been released before. As a colorblind person, I find this really exciting because I'm being able to live my dream through this. It's really fun. It's a little campy with like the color rush, I guess, that happens to them, but it's really fun. It's short. You can see it on like Viki and YouTube and things like that but I highly recommend it. It's really good. Korea seems to be punching out a lot of things right now, and that's pretty dope. I'm still obviously gonna follow Manner of Death because Max and Tool are life. It's, I'm on, I'm on episode five now, and it's starting to get like really intense. This is not your typical like love story. It's dark, it's kind of more a murder mystery thriller, and I'm all about it. Some people are kind of annoyed because it's not as like gay sexy as most BLs are, but I'm having a great time and they're just really good together. So, hooray! So I hope you guys have a happy new year. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. We're able to see some fireworks. The fireworks in Taiwan were really cool and hopefully you were able to see something and have a good time. So in any case, uh, happy new year once more. Stay safe, wear a mask, and like and subscribe. See you next week for Together With Me Next Chapter. Bye! Thank you.